Have you guys heard of Utsi? The okay, before you before you uh, hop off, give me just a moment because this really is the coolest thing ever. His name is Utsi. He is named after the area that he was found in the Alps. And he was, he was discovered in 1991 in the area between Austria and Italy. But listen, even if you don't like anthropology or history or mummies, this is fascinating. So listen to this. What was learned from this most intact human body, naturally preserved, I'm going to tell you some things that were learned thanks to modern technology, uh, genetic coding, something else called carbon dating, and many other things, different types of imaging and so on. And it's just fascinating because the part that really interests me, it, the, his tools might interest some people, his ancestry all the way back to farmers, in an area of Italy might be interesting to other people. But for me, what's really fascinating is this man named Utsi had all the medical ailments and problems 5,300 years ago when he was alive and strong and walking through the mountains that we have today. So let's go over some of those because you, you just won't believe one of them. Let's first talk about his statistics real quick. So I think I, I also mentioned that in 1991, two hikers discovered him. And I'm going to insert some pictures. There is so much information on YouTube and on the internet about him. And they discovered him face down, uh, completely frozen, partially out of ice. It has been found that he was about 45 years old. He was five foot three and he weighed approximately 110 pounds at the time that they were able to put everything together and do all of his statistics. The genetic coding tells us that his hair was brown, his eyes were brown, and his skin was dark. It also said that specifically his ancestry goes back to Sardinia. How did he die? That's a whole other mystery that a lot of people are still looking at. It's just really interesting because he was found to have an arrowhead in his back shoulder area. But at first they thought that that's what probably took his life. Why did somebody do this to him and shoot him with an arrow from the back? The arrow tip was still left inside him. They at first thought that an artery might have been hit and he bled to death. But then later now they're saying that's not the case, that only about 100 milliliters or cc's of blood probably occurred from that injury. And he died rather from maybe hitting his head and from the elements. Okay, what were the medical conditions that he was discovered to have? And what I find really fascinating is that 5,300 years ago, he had the same things that most people have today. A lot of people have today. But the one that surprised me the most was Lyme disease. This individual named Utsi had Lyme disease. He had atherosclerosis. He had parasites in his intestines. He had severe arthritis, especially in his hips, lower back, and knees. He was, as they are predicting, somebody who was on foot traveling a lot. He didn't have most of his muscles up on top, but he had them in the hips and leg area. And they found certain type of pollen in his body that would indicate that he wasn't always up in the mountains, but he was also down in the valley, up crossing down in the valley and up again. He also had gum disease and gallstones and his hair was, he was losing his hair. So at the age of 45 or so, what they think that he was, he had, like I said, a lot of the things that we have today. I guess that Lyme disease isn't something that I, or atherosclerosis and heart disease, th those things weren't really things that I was thinking of that somebody 5,000 years ago might have. And the reason I guess I, I wouldn't think of that first is because we think of heart disease and atherosclerosis as a disease of kind of our fault. Okay, there's a lot of genetics involved too with high cholesterol and heart disease in the families. But I think of it like if I would exercise more, if I would eat better, if I would never have ice cream, I've got to stop it with any kind of junk food, even though I like Cheez-Its. I mean, it's just constantly something that I'm you know, thinking about and working on and aware of because I do have heart disease in my family. 
And to think that, you know, there were no Cheez-Its uh, back in the day. There was no, you know, uh, processed food the way that we have it today. And there wasn't sugar in everything the way we have it today. Yet his arteries were showing the same thing that is shown in people of that age today. Or maybe if you compare people, I suppose, perhaps his, his uh, atherosclerosis might be looking like somebody in their 60s instead of 45, I don't know, but he had it. But what's up with Lyme disease? You ever think about Lyme disease for somebody that's 5,000 years old for those people back then? And uh, I mean, not that we wouldn't have had ticks and other types of things back in that time frame, but I just find it interesting that we hear about Lyme disease all the time now, at least I do. I'm on a lot of medical sites and I'm on a lot of, I follow a lot of doctors and as I'm scrolling and as I'm reading, Lyme disease is something that is seems so prevalent and everybody has it, especially those in Hollywood. What was also interesting is that Utsi had a lot of tattoos. Okay, he had specifically, I've got to look at my notes, 61 tattoos and they were in 19 groups on his body, but they weren't the kind of tattoos probably for art or uh, some meaningful memory. His tattoos were over the, they were in lines and they were over the areas of his body that had the most arthritis. And he also had some over his abdomen in the area where his gallstones would be causing him a lot of pain. So what was used, they found back then, were these types of cuts and lines into the area of the body that is causing you the most pain and coal and other things were put in there to alleviate the pain. Maybe they did something similar to acupuncture we don't really know. One thing they did find was a particular type of birch mushroom that he had with all the other tools and things that he carried. He was very prepared. He was a strong, prepared, well-versed man who traversed these mountains and valleys on a regular basis, it seems, and he had everything with him and was prepared with what he was wearing for the environment. And this type of mushroom is an antiseptic, antibiotic perhaps, that kind of a thing. Utsi had a lot of inflammation in his body and Lyme disease doesn't directly, is Lyme disease isn't an inflammatory type of illness, it is an infection, uh, but it can cause inflammation in the body. He had that, he had this widespread inflammation, he had the arthritis, like I mentioned, and let me give you some other things that they found that he had. Specifically endothelial damage to his blood vessel lining, and the blood vessel lining damage is the first step to atherosclerosis. With the gum disease, you can get bacteria from that into the bloodstream, and that probably accurately correlates with what they found with bacteria. But again, he, li he lived a very uh, active life with no processed foods, and yet he still had atherosclerosis, he still had inflammation, arthritis, and parasites. I forgot to mention they discovered that his blood type was O. When they were looking at him though, his eyes looked blue, but with the genetic testing that they were able to do, they found that his eyes were actually brown. He sustained many injuries and ailments and old injuries to his body in his 45 years of life. And modern medicine and technology and imaging can tell us so many things. So they did the same thing that they would do on other people who are deceased as far as uh, doing an autopsy on him, although the autopsy was done by individuals that weren't your regular coroner. And that's what, how they were able to discover what's going on with him and what his life was like and where his ancestors came from. So why does Lyme disease feel so devastating now? And we hear about it so much now. Well, there's a lot of reasons, I guess, that we could answer for that. But we do live longer. We expect better health care. We want to be treated for what our pain, ailments, and problems are. Chronic symptoms disrupt work, relationship, and our identity. Chronic pain and inflammation in our body disrupts every part of our life. So it is talked about more. We have social media. It's something that people are just talking a lot about is Lyme disease. But Utsi is probably the first person that we know of 
who was diagnosed with Lyme disease that was confirmed as Lyme disease 5,300 years ago. I hope this was fascinating, just a fun little video. If you like videos about health, about tips and myths and facts, interesting topics like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you at the next video.